Hi, Mark Savage here, Savage on Wheels. Today we're talking luxury sport utilities. Uh, we've got the new Acura MDX, or Dr. X as I like to call it. Uh, if you were looking for a 2021 model, you are out of luck. They did not make a 2021. This is the 2022 model. They skipped 2021. Uh, lengthened it a little bit. It's longer, lower, wider. What's that sound like? I think Pontiac used to say that every time they came out with a new car. But uh, they've added a little more space inside for the rear seat. There's still not a lot of room in that third row, but a three row sport utility ranging anywhere from uh, about $48,000 with a front wheel drive to about $65,000 for all wheel drive and totally souped up the Type S. So we'll take a look at it, but they've got a lot of new improvements inside and our good friend Alexa is inside too. A few things on the outside of the vehicle before we take a ride. Check out this cool grill. I like this. They call it uh, a diamond pentagon. Obviously pentagon shaped. Little diamonds in here. Another big logo like that Mercedes we had not long ago. Giant A caliper for Acura. That's pretty cool. And then in back here, in theory, <laughs> we're going to do this again. Nope. Oh, there it goes. All right. You can wiggle your leg under here and it pops up. You get the power uh, hatch. We got a little bit of storage under there, that's nice. But not a lot back here when you got the three rows up. You really gotta put the third row down to get much in the way of storage capability back here. But got some power outlets so you can plug some things in. And again, they've added a little over two inches to this third row seat. We'll show you in a little bit uh, just how roomy that is in there. For the new MDX uh, Acura put aluminum doors on and aluminum hood to help lighten things up to help you on your gas mileage. We also got sun shields that you can put up in the back. And I think I mentioned to you earlier, one of the things that they did was add a couple inches of knee room and foot room to this back seat. And let me put that seat back up so we can get in here. So here we go. I uh, gotta put the headrest up or you can't make it at all. Paul, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, I, I got a little bit of room for my feet and maybe it's my knees, but I can tell you this much, uh, you don't want anybody bigger than probably four, five, four and a half feet tall back here to sit in the back seat, uh, at least not for any length of time. Uh, so third row seats are great to have as an option, I guess, and if you got a family with some little people in it, great. They can squeeze back here, but if they're real little, you better have the car seats in that second row. All right, we're pulling onto the highway here. This is our dynamic mode button. Uh, you have normal, comfort, sport, and I believe it's snow also. We're gonna go to the sport mode here as we get onto the highway. See how kind of acceleration we got. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be nice. So here we go. Yeah, you can hear the engine. It's pretty quiet in here normally, but when we're accelerating hard like this up the ramp, uh, it does pretty well as far as uh, giving you a good engine tone. There's 88. I'll we'll pull in front of that fancy BMW behind us. He's just like, what's that thing flying down? Oh, it's an Acura flying down the highway. Luxury interior, a lot of leather in here. I don't know how many cattle had to give their lives, but a lot of leather. Leather on the dash, uh, some Black stitching here, or gray stitching on the on the seats, a leather wheel, heated, heated seats, cooled seats. The back seats are also heated, and uh, I think we told you about the dynamic control here, but we got all of the other controls here for the climate control system. We have an automatic button for seats, so that's on if it needs to be warm, it will automatically turn on or cooled. Uh, if you need to plug in something, we got this fancy little pop up here. Or we've got a wireless charger right here in the middle, which is a nice thing. And you got a little armrest over that, so if you want to lay your wrist in, that's good. Otherwise, you can go in there and grab that. Um, some toggles on, or some wheels on the on the wheel, so you can adjust a variety of things. Uh, this is all the smart cruise control on this side. Uh, we've got a heated steering wheel over here. Uh, some number of ways you can get into your apps, the volume control for the radio. Now the only problem is, like so many of the fancy cars these days, we got this little touchpad down here for the radio. And, and for this whole screen. It's a nice 12 or 12 and a half, half inch screen or so, but you've got to play with this thing, and you can see it, it lights up where you're going to go. It's not so bad to get that 
but oops, then see it, it decides to go somewhere else and you're not sure that's where you wanted to go. Uh, we get a, we can, we can do uh, various stations, but again, it's not easy to use while you're driving. I'm driving pretty slow because we're heading into a little town here right now, but it is not uh, an easy adjustment. So I would suggest if you're gonna tune your radio or anything else on your screen, get it done before you start rolling. Well, a lot of the changes on the MDX are not necessarily visual, although they did restyle the exterior, but they've uh, had a new unit body construction, a stronger chassis here, so you can better tune the ride and give it a little bit better ride. Uh, new double wishbone front suspension. And now there's the wireless Apple and Android uh, CarPlay and so forth. So, that, you know, that's easy to have a connection there. As we talked about earlier, I think Alexa is standard here. And let, let us just show you in a minute how, how Alexa works here. All right, so one of the advantages is that Alexa, you can ask it all sorts of questions. Alexa, what's your favorite car? <laughs> hey, Alexa, what's your favorite car? I've got three favorites. The Firebird that's piloted by Kit, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and then Herbie the Adorable Love Bug. Not an Acura? Alexa, do you love an Acura? Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> okay. So Acura MDX, great luxury vehicle, very comfortable, very quiet, a lot of power, easy to drive, great family vehicle. It's been upgraded for 2022, it's our first 2022 that we've had. Uh, and it's, you know, it you can get it with two wheel drive, but I think most people are gonna want all wheel drive. That adds about $2,000 to the lower levels. So if you want uh, four wheel drive, you're probably talking close to $50,000 for one of these. And you can go all the way up to 65, but I think in that 50 to 55 thousand dollar range, there are a number number of different models you can go with. That you can get leather seats, have most of the good stuff on it that this one has on it, including the giant sunroof and so forth. But uh, hey, it's a family vehicle, but it's for a person that has a little bit more income than maybe Paul and I do. <laughs>